Hello everyone. Um, as you probably have noticed, uh, we switched from rich text format and PDF files for description of the of the workshops to the um, markdown language of GitHub. So essentially, the README file of each repository and directory that we put, we put we're going to put the description of all the all the things that we wanted to be done, either in a in a workshop or in um, uh, instructions like this to set up your computer we're going to set it up in the readme file um, and this looks perfect it's perfect very uh, lightweight and easy to uh, to read but the problem with it is that when you actually clone the repository and you want to open it say I want to open it for example with uh, Firefox if I want to open it with Firefox this is what I'm going to see it's just garbage uh, not garbage but it's just a uh, essentially the source code for the for that markdown so if I want to set, see this thing properly locally and offline what you need to do is to install an extension on Chrome and Firefox and this is the Firefox browser now so I'm gonna say markdown viewer extension for Firefox so markdown viewer extension Firefox and I'm gonna click on it and then I am going to say add to Firefox. I'm going to click on add. Allow this extension to run in private windows. Okay, got it. So the markdown is now the markdown extension is now added. Um, go to uh, and uh, go to uh, open up the markdown state extension. Go to content and activate everything over here. Uh, probably what you have is that these are all. Uh, unchecked make them you check them all make sure you check them all the rest of them this is the theme how what you want it to be dark github whatever you can change it later on but for now for content just activate all these and uh, close it down now close your browser and I'm gonna right click on readme md again chart this git oh sorry um, open with choose another app I'm gonna go to Firefox and let's say always open with this now we're gonna open it it is like this don't worry uh, put your cursor over there and hit enter and now it's actually loading it properly and as you see now everything over here shows as if it's in uh, github and not only that it shows you a table of contents over here based on the things that we have so uh, getting workshop files is going to go over there using downloads it goes over there important notes so you can actually go on every single one and take a look at them it works the exact same thing for uh, Microsoft for uh, uh, Chrome too so if I go to Chrome and I go to the local file so let's actually try to open this now with Chrome I'm gonna say open choose another program more apps if it doesn't show you the Chrome over here look for another app on PC then uh, go to um, program files x86 find Google and in Google find application it's not in here so it's probably in the next one sorry program files Google Chrome application and get chrome.exe and click on open again the same problem happens over here so for this what we need to do now is uh, do the same so go markdown viewer for Chrome markdown viewer for Chrome and add to Chrome we'll wait for it to do the installation after the checking is done it's gonna add it to Chrome and you're gonna have the exact same uh, scenario that you have for uh, uh, Firefox to install this extension for Chrome okay now that the installation is complete all I need to do is to try it again I'm just gonna put the URL uh, the, the file path over here on my hard drive and there we go the exact same thing like Firefox and now I can actually look at my uh, assignment description or whatever it is in markdown offline without connecting to internet thank you very much for watching and have a beautiful day